I never paid single rupee to learn data science, machine learning, or data engineering. But you are investing thousands and lakhs of money. So you need to make sure you make the right decision because many times we want to buy courses, but we don't really know what we are expecting from the courses. We all know that COVID pandemic came with a rise in the tech industry. Everyone started selling courses in different fields from data engineering, data science, machine learning, web development. You name it, and you will find a course on that. It also increased the confusion among people that should I purchase course from X company or company Y. A lot of people had bad experiences from this edtech platform. First, they charge you very high fees. The course content quality is not up to the mark. The support is not good. Initially, they make a lot of promises, but at the end, they do not stick with those promises. Now, I'm not saying that all of these companies are bad. There are so many good companies who genuinely want to help students and give them proper services. So, in this particular video, let's try to understand whether you should invest your money into buying these particular courses, and if you really want to buy it. How to choose a course that is right for you. If you are seeing me for the first time and if you are new to this channel, then my name is Tarshil. I'm a freelance data engineer. On this channel, we mainly talk about data engineering, data science, productivity, freelance, and overall tech stuff. So if you like these type of content, then make sure you hit the subscribe button. And without wasting time, let's get started. First, let's understand that all of these ed tech companies are businesses in the end. They want to make money by providing you these services. Now there is nothing wrong with this because you are learning and improving your skills, and in the exchange of that, you are paying money for that. Everything is good, but the problem arises when you don't really get what you expected on the first place. Let's understand this. For example, let's say if I launch my data engineering course tomorrow, and I promise you initially that I will help you to become a data engineer with hundred percent job guarantee. This is called as the perceived value. Based on the perceived value, you take the decision to buy the course. Now, if I help you from start to end, that is by providing you the right services, making sure you become a data engineer and get a job. Then my part is over, and you also got what you really wanted on the first place. So I promise you something initially, and you got the result at the end. But the real problem comes when you actually buy the course, and you realize that the course content quality is not what you expected. I do not support you. I do not even help you with the interview process because I got the money, and now my part is over. Now in this case, you paid the money. You expected something initially. But you did not receive it in the end. If you understood this, then you will realize that why there are so many people that are unsatisfied with these online courses. They pay lakhs of money, thinking they will get proper guidance with learning and the job, but in the end, they do not get any of this. You feel scammed because your money is wasted now. So now you understood why there are so many people who are unsatisfied with these courses. Now, before answering the question whether to buy these courses on the first place or how to choose the right course, let's try to understand: Do you really need to pay money to learn? Learn all of these things, and the simple answer is no. You can learn everything free from the internet. I never paid single rupee to learn data science, machine learning, or data engineering. With one Google search, you will get everything from blogs, videos, courses, roadmaps. You will get everything from start to end. How to learn all of these things? YouTube is a free university. If you want to learn Python, then you will get hundreds of videos and playlists on that. Even paid courses from these websites such as Udemy.com are very cheap. With the lifetime access. So the question is, if everything is free, then why do people run behind these expensive courses on the first place? These are few general reasons why people want to buy these courses, such as one-to-one -one support, mentorship, resume building, job guarantee, and many more. So if the company is genuine and they really provide these services, then there is nothing wrong with it. And there are other personal reasons, such as you are lazy, you don't really want to spend your time doing research and collecting different resources. You might think that free courses are not up to the quality compared to the paid courses. You lack discipline to do things by yourself. And one of the biggest reason is you want everything in one place. So if you buy the course from this edtech platform, you won't have to spend your time doing different research. On different topic, you will get everything on one place. For example, let's say if you want to become a data scientist. Now, data science is very big field, and there are so many different topics you need to cover in order to become a data scientist. So, if you decide to become a data scientist by yourself, then you will have to visit hundreds of different websites and watch many different videos to learn various topics. But a course from a tech website will give you everything on one place. So, these were the few reasons why you might want to buy these online courses. So, now let's try to answer when is the right time to buy these online paid courses if you really want to buy them. Again, let's take the example to understand this particular question. Let's say if you want to learn data science, the first step is to not research about different courses available in this particular field. The first step is to understand what this particular field is all about. Many times we just run behind the hype. You want to become a data scientist, you invest thousands and lakhs of rupees 
just to find out you don't really enjoy working in this field. Give yourself at least one week to understand what this field is actually about. Read about it on the internet, watch videos, read blogs, read books just to get knowledge about what this field is actually about. This particular thing applies to everything from Web3, data engineering, machine learning or any of the field. If you really want to become something, first understand what they do. So once you understand the field and you think that this is something you really want to do, then before buying the course, use the free resources available on the internet. Use all of these free resources from roadmaps, books, blogs, videos to learn about this field in detail. Spend one to two months by understanding these things by utilizing these resources to get more knowledge about the field. And once you learn the basic fundamentals of this field, then you can spend more time doing the hands-on practice to get more understanding of what type of work you will be doing in real world. You just have to Google a data science practice project. Web3 practice project, data engineering practice project and you will get so many different resources on that. Doing this particular exercise will help you to understand if you really want to get into this field or not. This will save your time, money and whatever you learn will not go waste. So before buying any online courses, make sure you utilize the free resources available on the internet just to get understanding about that field. And after understanding the basic concept and doing few hands-on projects, if you think you really want to master this field and go into advanced topic, then you need to think about buying the paid courses or investing your money into these edtech platforms. So the final question is how to choose the right course because there are so many different options available in the market. And there is a thing, right? If one course is good for me, it might not be good for you because your goals are different. You learn different ways. So if you if you like my content, but there are other people who might not understand the way I teach. So everyone has the personal choice. So you need to find a course that is right for you, not right for someone else. So we will try to understand how to choose the right course based on your goals and your interests. First, you need to set your expectations right. What are you really expecting from these online courses? Here are the few questions you can answer. Are you looking for one-to-one -one mentorship? Will you need constant support from the team? Do you want live training or recorded video is fine for you? How much money can you spend on these courses? Answering these questions on the initial stage will help you to understand what type of courses are you actually looking for? Because many times we want to buy courses, but we don't really know what we are expecting from the courses. This is mainly for the courses that are really expensive, 5,000, 10,000 rupees or even more than that. Because investing this amount of money, you need to make sure that you are investing into the right courses. After answering these questions, then look for the courses and research more about them. See what they are teaching in their syllabus, how the course structure is. Do they really meet your expectations or not? Research about the person who is teaching the course. What are their experiences? If they have free resources available online, watch their videos to understand if you really like the way they teach. Just reading the syllabus and the course structure is not enough. I can promise you hundreds of different things, but if the course content quality is not up to the mark, then it is waste of your time and money. Every edtech platform has testimonials from various students. So the best way to get a feedback for a course is by talking to the people who already took this course. These are the best people who will give you the final feedback on the course and how it is. Connect them on LinkedIn and share your goals and what you are actually looking for. Try to ask as many as questions to them that what you are expecting and how the course is actually is. These people who already took the course will help you to understand this course in detail. These people will give you the honest review about the course. And after all of this, if you are satisfied, then make the investment. Now doing these things on the first place will consume you a little bit of time, but you are investing thousands and lakhs of money. So you need to make sure you make the right decision according to you. So in summary, before buying any online courses, use the free resources available on the internet and learn more about the field. After spending few months, if you think that you really want to become or get into this field and go on to advanced level, then think about buying these courses by talking to the people who already took the course and make the final decision. Now, if you want to become a data engineer, then I have the six month study plan on my YouTube channel that is completely for free. This particular study plan contains a lot of different courses from udemy.com, coursera.com. I have picked these courses. I have also done these courses by myself. So I just added those courses. You can watch the video over here. This particular roadmap is completely free. This will help you to understand and get started your career into data engineering. So if you enjoy watching this particular video, then make sure you hit the like button. And if you are new here, then subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.